Hi everybody, welcome as always to Focus for Art. The more astute of you will realise that today I've got a different look because yes, I've got my black and silver waistcoat on. In today's video, I'll be taking you through the making of this, my latest piece of work and my first venture in still life in blended reality. I'll be taking you through my thought processes, my concepts for the making of this piece of art. So if you like what you see, please subscribe in the button below this video. If you click the bell icon as well, you'll get notified every time I put a new piece of work out. At the end of the video as well, I'll be asking for your opinion on this piece of work. If you've got a moment or two, please let me know what you think of it. So let's get straight into it as I take you on this journey. So let me take you through the setup for today's shoot. So this is the family area of our kitchen. Looking out over the garden, um, I'll be looking to make use of the light coming in through the patio doors. Uh, so I get one single uh, natural light source. And here, a little scene set up on our glass coffee table. I'll tell you the concept of what I'm looking to achieve, and that is to use still life to illustrate the passage of time. And the way I'll be doing that is with the flowers. Uh, they'll remain there until the, the petals start dropping off. The three candles, which I'll be allowing to burn down. And the concept is each day, take a series of photographs, I'll combine all of those images, hopefully, into a single work of art. So I'll catch up with you all later and we'll see whether I've achieved what I was looking to do. So here is the finished piece. And the first thing you'll notice, I would think straight away, is it's a mirror image of the picture I started with. So let me take you through my rationale and the process for developing the final image. Here are the six images that I took on the first day, each taken at a slightly different distance or a slightly different angle. And I combined and developed these images into this single piece here, which I'm quite happy with as a piece in its own right. But I quickly realised there were two big issues. And the first problem is a visual one. And that is, by the end of the week, I'd end up with probably 40 or 50 images all combined into one. So the visual problem I have with that is, I think it would be too busy, too blurred, without sufficient definition to get the point of of time across in the final piece. And the second issue is more of a technical one. I almost always end up with big files for the work that I produce. And this one individual file is a little over one gigabyte of information in there. So developing images from around seven days worth of photography, I'd end up with a huge file. I'm guessing in the region of about 10 gigabytes. So I made the decision on day one that I'd continue to take a number of photographs on each day so that if I wanted to, I could develop any one day's images into a single piece and I would still have that opportunity to pull 50 or so images together into a final piece of art. You'll notice too that in the final image, I include very little of the reflection in the coffee table. And that's purely because for me, it simply didn't work. The picture ended up far too top heavy. So I decided to crop most of that reflection out of the final image. And now for the candles. So each day I had the candles lit for several hours a day. And with having the candles touching each other, I think there was some really interesting shapes. But when it came to 
blending the three candles together I just couldn't get it to look right it looked messy now what I did do quite early on was to blow the candles out and photograph the smoke coming off the candles as they were extinguished so in the final image I've used the photographs from the first couple of days of the candles along with some photographs of the smoke day by day uh, the flowers did start to droop and the thing I like about that is you can see it fairly clearly in the finished image and you know what I'm really pleased with the way that's come out I think it's worked very well indeed one thing which I hadn't expected was the length of time it would take for the petals to dry out and fall off on day one I put the roses in the vase as you see there without any water and guess what the flowers started to droop some of the petals got very dry and brittle but not a single one fell from the flowers the petals that were brittle I actually pulled off the flowers and let them fall in situ wherever they would happen to land and the build up of fallen petals is quite important to me to get across the idea of time passing and this is where the reason for the flip comes in what I wanted to do was to use the petals building up day by day to illustrate the passage of time and as I was doing this it seemed to work better for me to start from the right hand side where the watch is and work my way out of the frame however as a complete image the reading of that time would run from right to left whereas in western culture we tend to view time from left to right and that's why I did the flip so that as you look at the petals at the bottom of the vase they get larger as you go out of the picture which is what I wanted but out of the picture to the right to illustrate that passage of time this of course meant I had to make that little tweak of flipping the pocket watch so that the time still looked correct so here is that final image and at first I wasn't too sure about the image but to be honest over the last few days the finished result has grown on me quite a bit but you know what I really would appreciate I'd really appreciate having your views on the final piece and of course your views on the video itself on YouTube and you can do this by writing in the comment section below or contacting me at info at photosforart.com that's photos with an F so thanks for joining me and of course a big thank you if you're able to give me your critique on the image and the video. I'll see you again in a couple of weeks time. Meanwhile, keep yourself safe, enjoy life, be happy.